Salty Zeta here, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version. In the last episode, we got to Pseudopolis City after murdering a lot of things, and in this episode, I'm gonna murder even more things! Because... We've got stuff to do, and things to kill. And levels to get. You have a Grass-type Pokemon. I'm gonna kill you with Lilac, then. Oh. You're annoying. You're annoying. Just die. You take my wings. I think we're to level 42. Congratulations, Bane. I like how I said I'm going to electrocute everything, and then I haven't been doing that at all. Thus far. Wappa! Wappa diddly baddly baddly baddly. It looks so happy, is it real? It's like, in the middle of a stroll, it's like, yeah, look at me, I'm having a good time. I'm a good boy. Girl, girl. I say, I say things like that without actually looking at the gender thing. Whatever. Cool trainer Alexa. Alright. Let's get back to seeing what I can do. I should check and get to see what this place looks like in... Looking place. There's a tiny place you can dive here. Looks like there might be an item actually, so. I'll go just see what that item is. Why not? Protein. That's what, attack? I don't mind the proteins. There's nothing really else item-wise in this route. I was just checking. Sorry. I I I kind of wish like there was some way I could just kind of show everything that's going on instead of just the gameplay because like sometimes sometimes there is more that I'm doing and I'm like it would be useful if I could just show off Bulbapedia things and I'm also happening to look through. Go to the right. Oh. Uh, to the right is the direction of the Pokemon League. Apparently. Can I go that way right now? They'll probably just say no. Two steps. I got two steps after that Super Repel wore off. Well, there's trainers over here, so I'm certainly not complaining about that. Harsh sunlight. Is that gonna affect the battle, or is it just an observation that you have? Ooh, high-level evolved Pokémon! My favorite! That did jack.
want to kill the Seeking first, cause, so that it wouldn't use any Flying-type moves on Shalo. Okay, well, you just use Wrap. I, I know the Grass is weak against Poison, but I figured that, like, a strong Giga Drain would do well against a Tentacle, still. But it did nothing. Strength did more. I don't know. Whatever, it's dead now. I'm definitely pleased to be going on this route, though, so the trainers are like this. It's certainly useful for leveling up. Ooh, level 32 blue tentacle. That's the kind of wild Pokemon I like to see. Well, here I'm in Evergrand City. Oh yeah, okay, so it blocks you off just with Waterfall. So Waterfall is in this game. Good to know. I'll probably get rid of Protect on Sheila to fit Waterfall, because I want to keep Brick Brick. Okay, so heading back. Alright. Hello. Okay, where am I? I'm on Rock Island. Okay. It's not the name of this place, but it's an island with rocks on it, so that's what I'm calling it. So, what do I do? I think I'll fight this guy, and then dive? Is what I want to do? Progress? This look, what, that, what, that's what it looks like. The story progression by means of progress, because there's there's still routes that I can do, and I'll still probably end up doing them for grinding purposes, but for right now, I kind of want to just also get a little bit of a move on with and not have a million episodes in a row of me just going around electrocuting everything. Like so. So I'm, in this episode, I'm also probably going to try and do the Team Aqua stuff that I'm about to get to. I'm also probably going to put an experience share on... Some of the Pokemon again, just because right now Bane's the one I'm going to be using for pretty much everything, and uh, other Pokemon are starting to get a little bit low level in comparison. So, I don't know, Flint, you can take it. Especially since Soft Sand's gonna do Jack for you right now. Dibbity dive, diggly dee. Submarine Explorer 1. It's the one that Team Aqua stole in Slateport. It's the wrong menu. God, wh why am I so bad at navigating these menus? So, just like Team Magma's hideout, now we have a Team uh, Aqua hideout. What? What do you mean? Oh shit, Lapis had Rock Smash! I never retaught anybody that! Who the hell else can use Rock Smash? I could give it to Flint. Flint doesn't have any H. I don't want to give it to Chalo. Chalo doesn't. Chalo has too many, and Sheila. I don't want to get rid of the other thing. And Sheila couldn't need to learn Waterfall as well. Well, actually, hold on. 
Do I need... Okay, I need Rock Smash to get through Victory Road. So, if I uh, so Victory Road after after. Okay, so I am going. I can't give it to Sheila and then use the move deleter to get rid of it. I need it for Victory Road as well. So, um, it sucks so much. And all those moves are good, except, I guess, Headbutt, but Headbutt's the only one that has 100 accuracy. It's the only move I can use that's... I guess I'll get rid of Metal Claw. It's, it's 50. I guess, that's a hard decision, but... This is why HMs suck! Oh, there's wild Pokemon here. Alright, let's fight these assholes. We don't need a kid around. Go home already. No. You go home. Yo, G, go home. God, why don't you level anything up, you morons? Okay, let's fight this guy now. It's tiny inside. It's like reverse Doctor Whoism. Okay, what's in this way? Another cave. I have a map of this place open up. It's kind of weird. There's like a whole bunch of different ways to actually go. I'm just trying to figure out this puzzle. Not if that's effective. I guess the whole thing is just that this is a big maze, sort of, but like, they all- I think they all lead to the same place. I'm gonna fight those guys. How do I get there? I can't tell how to get there. I need all the battles I can get. Oh, I can just do it right. Here I am thinking like, oh, I can just, you know, I need to activate it again. Can I get there from here? Yes, indeed. All right. I, j I just want all the battles I can get, is the point. I don't want a shortcut. All right, they are defeated. Where, which room does this take me to? I'm back at the start? How does that make any sense? Okay, I'm, if I can't go down, what if I go... Oh my god. Which one is this? I can't find it. <laughs> um... I guess I want to go to one of these. I'm gonna try and go to the one that's harder to get to, I guess? Maybe this one? I mean, harder in quotation marks. I mean, it's all just puzzle-based, so... So, like, it's not, you know... physically harder. 
but could potentially, I guess, be mentally harder. Um. Oh, I'm at the bottom of that one. Okay. What? A big track. These look different. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm looking at the ruby and sapphire versions, and not the emerald version. I didn't even. It's, it somehow it didn't even like cross my mind. I go it depends on the direction of these things. Okay. Oh dear Claude. Okay, I guess I'm in room seven now. Seven of nine. Uh, I'd rather take the battle than deal with that strengthness. I said miss, but I meant mess. I don't, I don't know. My mind is kind of dying. This is probably going to be my last episode of this session. I just kind of want to get through this, get done. My mind is numb from all this garbo. Badarbo. Hello. I will murder you two. <laughs> weather Institute? You guys were at the Weather Institute? I don't even remember that. We're gonna get a taste of pain. Life just doesn't work the way we need it. Isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth? Ooh, I like you. You're definitely like show offy. All right, what makes most sense here? I'll probably try and kill the Sharpedo just flat out. Oh, you didn't die. Well, probably should have used the Thunderbolt on the Mygana then. That Charpedo was dead next turn. Or whatever. It's gone now. It didn't do a gosh darn diddly thing. What else you got? Mygana. Okay, well. Sure. Oh, no, I'm so scared. Frightened. I guess I'll just dogpile on the Mygana again? <laughs> no? Damn, this keeps happening to me. Oh, of course. You swaggered Bane. Well, I wouldn't do a swaggered Bane. Alright, man, just kill it. Thank you. And yeah, that's one one we don't have to deal with now, that's good. Bane, you'll use the yellow flute. Which is pro quite possibly the best item I've ever gotten in a Pokemon game. I'm just gonna say that. I know my attack was lowered a whole bunch by the Intimidates, but I don't- I want to save some of those other attacks for later. Oh good, you swagger Chelo. That's fine by me. Oh come on! Okay, you, you swaggered Bane. That's fine by me. God, swagger is just so annoying in the, in the sense of being used, but like me being able to just cancel it out, cancel out the confusion aspect and keep the attack portion of it is pretty useful. 
A Golbat? Okay. That Golbat is dead as a doornail. I don't care. I still don't care. Goodbye. At least that battle had some degree of challenge, though. From a complete cakewalk. Alright. Aha! Ouch! Wah! Goo goo gaga! I don't know. What is this nonsense? Hideout BS. Get me out of here. Earthquake! Nice! Alright, I think I'm almost... I think I'm... by a cutscene, so I'm just gonna save real quick, just in case, because, I don't know. There's always a chance that Bane could explode, <laughs> or something, and then I'd be kind of left in the dust. Hold it right there! My throat hurts too much to do a voice for Archie, so foo foo foo, so it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is, the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. But now all that's over no now, for the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. Into thin air. Because we can't say murder in a kid's game. Alright, starting out with a Mydena. The mighty Yin. Alright, Thunderbolt. Thunder! Luigi Thunder. Oh boy, my favorite move. My favorite move. Okay, that was a good deal all around, I'd say. I'll accept that. I'll happily take those. Crobat, I'll happily take that. I'll take that, Bat. Ah! This is what I meant by I want Bane to move faster. Okay, good. You're dead. Right? I'm super strong and you take damage. Yeah. Okay, good. You gain that experience, Bane. You get to level 44. Try attack. Fires three types of beams at the same time. Power 80. I have not used Supersonic once. Goodbye, Supersonic. I, ju I just like attacking moves more, what can I say? Flint grew to level 38, nice. Garpedo. Eh, let's see if Chaelo can do it. Let's just, let's just see. He's gonna move fast. He's gonna heal up. He's gonna 
take out a decent chunk of health. Good job, Chalo. Hmm. Always with the swagger. Always with the swagger. Alright. Is this gonna be enough to kill? I hope it is. Yeah! Good job, Chalo! I knew you could do it! I lost to a mere child. I'm no mere child, I'm a mere children. I commend you, I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession, with this red orb I can make Kyogre. And then suddenly it began shining by itself. Redness! Oh no! Dramatic music! What? I didn't do anything! Why did the red- where did Kyogre go? Huh? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm, it's raining heavily? Good, that should have happened. That is why we awaken Kyogre, to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned? You're in danger? That, that can't- that's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. Yeah, didn't you learn anything about the water cycle? Rain comes from the ocean, you're not going to add more water, it's all the same water. The red orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Did Kyogre disappear? Why? Oh, hi. What have you wrought? Archie, you've finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if, that, if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. What? Don't get all, get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So long as I have this red orb, I should be con able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is what the world that we desired. Ulti, come on, you have to get out of here too. Okay. Now I guess we're just here. What happened? What is this wretched scene? It's just a light drizzle. Did I make a horrible mistake? Okay, I guess it's a thunderstorm too. I, I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to... Maxie, shut the hell up! You're in the same boat! We have to hurry! We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control! Oh, you don't say anything. I know I have no right to be critical of Archie. Yeah, you, you're, you got that right. But the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we just stand by and watch helplessly. Responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon, their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Ulti, what is happening? Hi, Steven. How come you get to fly to places that aren't, don't have Pokemon centers? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. This doesn't stop all of Hoenn. No, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Pseudopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point in arguing here. Pseudopolis may provide answers. Ulti, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Pseudopolis. Okay, I guess that's where I'll go too. I'll fly there on my paralyzed bird. Whee! Well, something's going on. Ah, oh, it's this scene! <laughs> uh, shout to that comic that's just like, Groudon sitting on the pebble, and Kyogre's just like, Dude, you can't fight me. Do you understand how much of a disadvantage you're at right here? I have this entire lake to deal with. You have a tiny pebble. And also, water's strong against ground, so it's just amusing. Like, shout outs to that comic. Future ulti. Put in the creator of the comic. Alright, so I don't think I can do anything about them. I think I'm just supposed to see this thing. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here, it's the red orb! Calm down! It's no good, it's not responding at all. Groudon, please, stop what you're doing! I know the extent of your power now. If you go keep going, all Hoenn will be utterly ruined. Okay. 
Those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre, the two super ancient Pokemon, were awakened from a long sleep, and now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Dude, they're kids present. Come on, I know you're ancient, but times have changed. You being here now mean I'll take to mean that you prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well then, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. That's not the right music. What's the right music? I, don't, I can't think of the, that little following ditty. ditty. Listen, Ulti, does seeing Groudon Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? That's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. I don't fear Pokemon. Oh, am I going to the Cave of Origin? Is that what this is about? I guess so. Okay, here we are. So you'll find na someone named Wallace. I think you'll have what it's take what's needed to help him. Oh, good. There's wild encounters here. My favorite. You know what? I'm gonna save this for the next episode because I'm getting a little tired and I just kind of want to be done for now. Plus, I don't know how long this has been. I've been recording for two hours straight, practically. And so. Could be, it could have been three episodes that I recorded, could have been four, I don't know. As far as I'm in my head, I'm on the third episode, but like, that would have been done an hour ago. So, I'll finish up this whole legendary extravaganza and the Cave of Origin in the next episode of Pokemon. Emerald version is the Emerald version of the version of the Emerald game that we're playing. Good night, goodbye, so long, farewell, see you in the next time. I guess my origin is that I never have ever been able to end episodes properly.